the Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority UNRBDA, is a perestatal under the Federal Ministry of Water Resources. It was originally re-established as Niger River Basin Development Authority by Decree No. 25 of 15 June 1976. Its headquarters is located at Kilometer 5, Mina, Zungeri Road, Tudun Fulani, Mina, the Niger State Capital. The catchment areas of the authority comprise Niger State, Kaduna State and FCT. Within these catchment areas are project and area offices manned by the authority staff who are charged with the responsibility of overseeing the numerous projects constructed over the years. As an agency of Federal Ministry of Water Resources, the vision is to facilitate optimal utilization of water resources in a sustainable manner for the enhanced economic, social and rural development within its catchment areas. While the mission is to pursue their objectives of harnessing, developing, conserving available water resources in the upper segments of Niger River Basin with a view to improving the standard of living and quality of life of Nigerians, particularly those in the rural areas through irrigation, agronomy and animal husbandry. The agency is also determined to develop and maintain up to date the Water Resources Master Plan and Data Bank for Enhanced Sustainable Development. The Managing Director of the Authority is Professor Ali, who in an interview with the Officers of Press and Public Relations Unit of Federal Ministry of Water Resources and HIY Communications spoke elaborately of the significant milestones of his agency from 2015 to date. Achievements of Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority from 2015 to now, uh, you see that we have uh, done uh, all of this. We have acquired uh, a number of uh, plant and machines and we have also uh, established the Songhai model farm. We have done rehabilitation, construction and rehabilitation of uh, access routes. So beyond what the documents stipulated for the river business, we also contributed in uh, facilitating access to uh, portable water. In the area of dam construction and rehabilitation, the authority constructed and completed dams at various locations, including Rafiniashi Dam, Egbia Gaba Dam, Bakugi Dam. The dams have a combined reservoir capacity of 1.893 million cubic meters of water. The ongoing dam projects include Afaka Dam, Gwantu Small Earth Dam, Kagoro Small Earth Dam, Ekugiliman Small Earth Dam. As government is a continuum, the authority ensures that these dams were rehabilitated. Karugu Dam, Gimi Dam, Tungankau Dam. The dams have a combined reservoir capacity of 26.5 million cubic meters of water. Other ongoing dam rehabilitation include Agailepai Dam, Swashi Dam and Irrigation Scheme. Both dams have a combined reservoir capacity of 108 million cubic meters of water. We started and completed three dams. Uh, one is Rafinyashi Dam, Bakoji 
uh, dam, that is the second one, and then a Bigaba dam. These are, you know, um, these are arts, you know, small arts uh, dams. And we have four ongoing, four ongoing dams that are under construction. We have one in uh, Apaka, we have one in Gontu, uh, we have another one in uh, uh, Ekoji, Ekoji Liman Dam. And uh, the fourth one is Kagoro uh, Small Earth Dam. With the dams we have constructed, and the ones that are ongoing, the ones that we have finished maintenance, and the ones that the maintenance is ongoing, their total reservoir capacity is 137 uh, million cubic meters. And uh, I'm sure you appreciate uh, what it means to have a reservoir capacity of 137 million cubic yeah, yeah, meters is going to irrigate a large expanse of land leading to high production of different uh, food crops. Professor Ali also spoke on the construction and maintenance of irrigation schemes in the authorities determined stands to contribute to Mr. President's agenda of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty. These completed irrigation schemes will support rice and farming, Kontogura Auna Irrigation Scheme, Jeba Irrigation Scheme, Rijau Irrigation Scheme, other ongoing construction of irrigation schemes, Gadabu Irrigation Scheme, Rafinyashi Irrigation Scheme, 10 hectares, Honkui Irrigation Scheme, Gwentu Irrigation Scheme, Rehabilitation of Irrigation Schemes include Badegi Irrigation Scheme, Swashi Irrigation Scheme, 7,500 hectares, Tafa Irrigation Scheme, 161 hectares. Open Niger River Basin Development Authority has established a Songhai model farm in uh, 2018. And uh, progressively, we have been developing that farm. And at the moment, we have a number of uh, units within the farm. We have the agroforestry section, we have the food uh, processing section, we have the market garden, we have uh, aquaculture, we have poultry, we have the ruminant units, ruminant uh, units. So all these are integrated uh, to each other. And uh, we're using the Songhai model farm as a platform for training. As instructed by the ministry, the river business should be enablers in enhancing agricultural activities and boosting agricultural you know, output. In the area of water supply, the authority has recorded many achievements following the construction and rehabilitation of water schemes and boreholes, including Rijau Water Scheme, Deddara Water Scheme, Sulija Water Scheme, Essen Water Supply Scheme, Construction of Water Supply Scheme at Key, Kuji Area Council, FCT. Construction of Mini Water Supply Scheme at Uke Pasali. The water supply schemes have a combined capacity of 1 
1.085 million cubic meters of water. Other achievements include construction of boreholes, solar powered boreholes 368 with an output of approximately 7,153,920 liters of water per day. Motorized boreholes 212 with an output of approximately 6,868,800 liters of water per day. Hand powered boreholes 750 with an output of approximately 2,235,600 liters of water per day. The total combined daily outputs of constructed boreholes within the period in review is 16,258,320 liters of water. Maintenance of boreholes Solar-powered boreholes 123 with a daily output of approximately 1,391,120 liters of water. Motorized boreholes 40 with a daily output of approximately 1,296,000 liters of water. Hand-powered boreholes 25 with a daily output of approximately 74,000 520 liters of water. The total combined daily output of the boreholes amounts to 2,761,640 liters of water. Other notable milestones of the authority in the area of water supply include rehabilitation of water schemes, rehabilitation of sludge waterworks, rehabilitation of Bida waterworks, Rehabilitation of Kurumi Musa Water Supply Scheme The water supply schemes have a combined output of about 1.2 million cubic meters of water. We started and finished a number of uh, water schemes. Uh, we completed six in number uh, in, different, in different places. And we also rehabilitated three uh, water schemes, one in, uh, in Bidda and uh, in Suleja, and also uh, Kurumi Musa in Kaduna State. And then construction of boreholes, we have constructed a number of boreholes in this, uh, within this period. Uh, solar boreholes, uh, a number of them, over 300. We constructed motorized uh, boreholes, uh, that is uh, over 200. And we also constructed hand, uh, hand boreholes, uh, which is uh, over 100. And uh, these are contributing to availability of water in the nooks and crannies of our catchment. Apart from the construction, we also did maintenance of uh, boreholes that were constructed before, and for one reason or the other, they are not working. So we rehabilitated solar boreholes over 123, motorized, we uh, rehabilitated over 40 and hand boreholes over uh, 25. And all these boreholes, the ones we constructed, the ones we, we maintained, they have a cumulative output of over 17 million liters by day. The construction and rehabilitation of access roads. In line with the mandates of the authority, Several roads were either constructed or rehabilitated to create access to and from the water supply, irrigation and dam infrastructure already provided. The access roads include Access Road to Ravinyashi Dam, 
Bosulukul government area of Niger State. Construction of access road to Egbia, Gaba and Bakugi small F dams Niger State. Construction of access road to Dukame Jamaa irrigation scheme. Construction of access road from Wazu into Sanara farmlands in Jamaa Lukul government area of Kaduna State. Construction of access road into Kwagiri Garshendaji Ungwamandi farmlands in Sanga local government area of Kaduna State. These projects have a combined total of 10.24 km of access roads. The Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority has been very robust in the delivery of its mandate. The rehabilitation of access roads is another significant milestone of the authority. The following roads were rehabilitated to provide access to infrastructure. 6 km rural road at Ukepasali, Karunukul government area of Nasarawa state. Rehabilitation of Garfe Ija road, Tafalukul government area of Niger state. This rehabilitation works covered some 8 km of rural roads to farming communities. In furtherance of this administration's policy of achieving food security, poverty alleviation and employment generation, the Ministry under the able leadership of Engineer Sleiman Husseini Adamu adopted an integrated model of farming. To spread the concept, the Ministry directed all the river basins to set up this model farm. In line with this directive, Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority has set up this model at its headquarters at Mina. You cannot achieve food security if you are not producing food all year round. And it's the river basins that have the facilities to ensure that happens through irrigation. Then this country has potential of 300 3.14 million hectares of irrig irrigation. Within Niger and Benue basins alone, we have four river basins, Upper Niger, Lower Niger, Upper Benue, Lower Benue. Between these four river basins, there is 1.8 million hectares that is suitable for irrigation. So you can see that more than half of the irrigable land in this country lies within just four of the river basins. So there is a lot they can do. Uh, under roads construction, we did a number of uh, roads uh, to open access to our different infrastructures, mainly dams and irrigation schemes. Uh, a road to our Raifinyashi Dam, another road to uh, a Bigaba Dam, and also another one to Bakoyi uh, Dam. And we also rehabilitated a number of routes uh, leading to uh, farming communities in different places, uh, six kilometers in Ukepasali, and also in uh, Karfi Ija, which is under Tafa uh, local government. Graduate and Youth Empowerment Program In line with this administration's policy towards employment generation and in support of Mr. President's promise to lift 1 million Nigerians out of poverty, Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority has commenced Graduate and Youth Empowerment Program. The initial batch of 30 students have graduated after a three months rigorous training which was fully residential. The second barge has been selected and will soon commence the training. Activities of the Gender Unit The Gender Unit of the Authority in line with the government's aspirations for skill acquisition and empowerment and employment generation has trained hundreds of women in various skills. Many of these women have set off related businesses and are aching a livelihood. We have started training uh, graduates and youth using the Songhai farm as a platform. 
and uh, under this we have finished training uh, a set of 30 uh, graduates and youth. They were within the farm for three months, fully resident, and um, they have now graduated. And uh, we are about uh, uh, starting the second batch. And then our gender unit also has been training in line with the aspiration of this government in uh, skill acquisition, empowerment, and uh, uh, employment generation. Our gender unit has trained hundreds of women in different skills. And uh, a number of these women have taken, have taken uh, this, uh, these skills as uh, a source of livelihood and they are aching out uh, their livelihood uh, from there. Establishment of automatic weather stations and river gauging stations. In line with our mandates of maintaining updated water resources master plan and data bank, the authority has established eight automatic weather stations in Mina, Ushishi, Lapai, Suleja, Kwali, Pembegwa, Galmadam, and Kaduna area office. 32 numbers hydrological gauging stations have likewise been established in various locations cutting across the authorities' cashments of Kaduna, Niger and the FCTE. The Managing Director, Professor Ali, equally spoke on the giant strides of his agency in the acquisition of heavy equipment. Most of the infrastructures that are constructed by the river basins require plants and machineries. So, uh, equipping uh, river basins with plants and machineries will uh, enable them, you know, to do in-house construction. They will also be able to generate revenue, and they will also be able to uh, maintain some of this uh, their infrastructure, like dams, irrigation schemes, routes, and so on and so forth. What we have been doing is to encourage them to to have modern tools, of alert, increase their their, their 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 coverage of hydrological data collection, improve their capacity and uh, capability to analyze using modern tools. And that is why way back in 2016, uh, I insisted that they should also uh, get into this business of hydrological modeling so that they have modern software to be able to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm.